Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to another episode of Shoot Online. Today we are with um, the great Jabulani Mendu. Um, a lot of people called him Eskel. Mm. I don't know why. He'll tell us why they called him Eskel because I've never seen him with an Eskel. Jabu, thank you, Mebara, for, for agreeing to talk to us. It's, mm. it's been a while. You still yeah. look good. No, it's been a minute, man. Nantoki eki tabelanko rea no kokas, you know. I'll fairly stay down. Ukete to cannot stay down fair, but now this is, you know, ki first look at your hood. Yeah, eki kasi, e I di kasi about your tanga to naki kasi, eki first look as you know, behind us there, this is uh, this thing all started there. This thing started there. there. Yeah. Now yeah. go crown do ko crown lung da halekija neti da. Yeah. Yeah. So man, thanks for having me, man. It's you know, it's a pleasure and welcome to Foss Loras. Thanks, man. Uh, hope you're going to enjoy your stay, even if it was going to be a few minutes, but sure, I hope you enjoy sure. your stay. I have, I have memories coming here, covering when Cosmos used to play here. We used to come here and watch you play. You see, th those are the times where football was nice. Football, even coaching, you know, I mean, I can, I can write a book about uh, Dr. Sono, yeah. you know, not that he recruited me let's just you know yeah, yeah. make it clear no yeah. but uh i think that's where i enjoyed my game yeah. that's where i was given all the freedom sure. you know to play the game to do what i want to do not what, what else. someone else tells me to do what you want to do yeah. he's the one and uh taught me to listen to the game yeah. that's why i always respect him for that because you need to listen to the game when you're playing this game yeah let's 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 come to the present mm. um jabulanu mendu foundation yes um, this happened after you retired just just take us to through what was the rationale behind for me actually it it, it 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 didn't happen when uh, after i retired i mean i was i was still playing okay you know the fact that you know those times not now now this because got it uh, easy mm. I remember when uh, I first uh, played for, for Kaiser Chiefs, you know, you, you'll play against a, a player that doesn't even have boots, you know. So we'll end up, after the game, you know, a, a, a Wanderers player will ask you for boots. So you'll give him boots. So yeah. it started there, giving, you know, okay. and I started enjoying giving, uh, you know, to others, to, yeah. to others, especially those who, who, who really need it, yeah, you know. Yeah. But it, it hurts me at the same time because, I mean, this guy, I'm playing with him, uh, in, in, the, in the PSL, you know, same division, but it don't have, doesn't have boots. It started there, yeah, so yeah. it grew into me. So I decided, look, let me just f have uh, a foundation so that I can, I can help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's good. So, so what have you? What has the foundation been doing? Uh, look, uh, obviously, I'm gonna use football as a as a vehicle, you know. Uh, but we've been doing a lot, you know, sanitary towels. Uh, libraries uh, making sure that we we send our message uh, i mean through educational activities yeah. but using football as a, as a, as a tool as well yeah. and uh, you see especially corona it gave us an opportunity to 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 plow back yeah. you know yeah. but it was very difficult but we end up you know we, we did our bit and few people helped us you know we we're buying uh, food, food parcels, not only that, clothes, you know, school uniform, a lot has been done uh, to the foundation and it's still, you know, continuing and uh, we're hoping to do more. Um, besides the foundation, you got into some coaching. I remember at one stage you were with Barbera. Uh, uh, let's get it straight, not some coaching. Okay. Coaching. <laughs> That's why even now you need to uh, you need to introduce me as Coach, coach Jabulani Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Tell us yeah. about that. Yeah. You know, I had a conversation with Peter Misumani. When know, was this? Um, twenty. Oh, it was a long time. Twenty twelve okay. or twenty ten. Yeah. You know about this venture into coaching, yeah. and uh, he told me, look. Uh, not everyone is gonna have an opportunity to to coach where you played like yes. you played for chiefs Definitely. you go in the development you know but mm. if you want if you really want to do it you go know for it, yeah. go for it yeah. but don't use your experience or don't use your time playing football with hey, hey, kids, I did the ball or they kids, can say but no go to school educate yourself mm -hmm. transitions very important yeah transition yeah. 
from a player from yeah. a player to a coach because it's very important uh. you know people don't do transition from a player to a coach uh. that's why that's where we get it wrong especially former players you need to go to school they need to t teach you to think teach yeah. you to walk teach you to talk teach you to behave but but as a Jabu, coach. Jabu, can i just come in there you, yes. you spoke very highly about Braje, who mm. coached you who taught mm -hmm. you there's one guy who has always said i've played the game mm -hmm. i'm coaching and he never did all those schooling. Li liar liar pens on fire <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know even though Braje, you'll never have a license or B license, but he's he has been educated uh, all this time by okay. other coaches that he respect. Okay. He, he never he them, yeah. exactly because yeah, yeah. you have to be Stanley Matthews. That was the, the, the that's the guy that taught Jomo how to walk, talk, uh, uh, think as a coach. Okay. Yes, so he it's not a formal. It's didn't not the formal formally route, formal way. Did, no, yes. but he did. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. He did. So it's it's not going to be easy for you from a, a player or no, you can't. You need to go to school. There are things that you thought you knew. That's yes, so that what, are going to blow your mind. So what 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 what, uh, what lessons? What schooling did you do? We do. Uh, I, I think I did um, quite a few. Um, yeah. uh, level one uh, B. You know, KFB B license. Okay. Uh, black label introduction course. Um, uh, high intensity prioritization, youth uh, prioritization. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kuva, a youth uh, course. Uh, wow, quite a, lot a few. Of those, yeah. I'll, I'll have yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And and you found them very helpful in in your a transition lot. to a lot. coaching. Uh. A lot, a lot. I mean, it's it's surprising when you think you know. Yeah then you find out that actually the more you know the more you know that you don't know, you, don't know. you understand yeah. so but it's educational at the same time it gives you confident yes you know it's not easy to talk in front of people it's not easy to address people it, you need that talk confident yeah. you yeah. know so i think it's i will i will urge everyone especially even if you didn't play the game just go for coaching even you don't go highest Higher level, level. Yeah. you know yeah. but just have that basic knowledge about coaching okay. yeah how have you used those qualifications i mean i know of Babi, Babi Roa, but yeah. you got involved with other things my first uh, coaching gig was um Adley. Okay. in the first I, I was just thrown in the deep end okay. uh, oh, yeah. Adley, yeah. Remember that you remember yeah. first yes. division yeah. yes that was my my first gig yeah you know i uh, with um coach uh Dav Silo Silo, Silo, Silo Chokwe. Chokwe, yeah. yes, I, I was working with Silo Choke there. Uh. Uh, after a few months uh, Professor Ngubani came uh, um, head coach for Pondo Chiefs now. Uh, he was there he worked with him, again, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Julius Dube. Okay. Yeah, I worked with yeah. him there. Yeah. After that I went back to school. Yes, you know, I yeah. learned a lot from pro. I learned a lot from uh, Sil I learned a lot from uh, Julius. Mm -hmm. After that, I went back to 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 to, to, to doing courses again. Yeah. When I came back, I went to Barbero. Yes. yes, I coached Barbero. I did well there. Uh -huh. uh, after that, I went to Tornado. Uh, okay, yeah, yes, uh, Eastern Cape. Yeah. Yes, uh, I came back. Mm -hmm. um, where, 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 where? Oh, I went to Nell Sprite again. Okay. Uh, Goat Chosen. Okay. Yeah, go chosen. I came back. Then I went to um, Just a few. Yeah. Yeah. How how do you when you all those those experiences what gives you pleasure when you look back at having been at those clubs as a coach? What what do you feel you have done or left at those clubs? The fact that the players that are coach are now playing their trade in the PSL. Some of them are playing, yes. Well, yeah. yeah. So that gives me pleasure than anything else. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Because you know when you're teaching uh, someone and uh, when they listen to you, and at the end of the day, they realize that, look, 
I have improved. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm doing this more, I'm doing this less, I'm doing this more. And they take their game to the next level mm. and they get offers yes. and opportunities to go and play for, for big for money or for yeah. big clubs. It's, it's overwhelming. Who are some of those guys? Uh, Seabong Apela, some are, 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 forgot their names. Uh, uh, I'll WhatsApp you. <laughs> I'll WhatsApp you. Right. I'm telling you. Yeah, um, yeah. I for, uh, I'll WhatsApp are you, you because are you, some are of you them. Those coaches who I remember. Hey, who called the nicknames? Nicknames. Yeah, yeah, nicknames. Yeah, nicknames. I wanna, you know, I'm talking a nick, nickname. You know. You uh, no, there's a name. Uh, yeah. uh, play now. He's playing for 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 Black Leopards. You okay. know, from TTM. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's two players from. Um, Free sisters, okay. uh, even uh, junior Pilankulu, Siname, uh, okay. Lakahi. So, okay. um, that's, that's good. That's, I mean, that, that, like you say, that, that must give you pleasure to say, I've contributed in this boys' careers, getting exactly. to, a, to a higher level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because what we need to understand, especially, it, it's not only about football, it's about teaching these boys to be men. To be responsible, responsible parents, to be fathers, yes. to be better human beings. Before a player, there's a human being, don't forget. So you also have to be able to teach that human being to Life be skills. exactly. Yeah. So we forget that. That's, that's, I find it very interesting that you say that, Jabu, because what I have seen with football mm. in general mm. is that they see you guys as just players. As a lot of them, thank there's you. never anything mm. about. They, they see you as a player once it's over that's why we have a lot of players who are just after football they know nothing because that's all they w why is it that you found that important why is it that that's important for you is it from the experience you've had from playing i i, I think one has to understand what do you want uh, football will be done just like this blink of an eye football is gone yeah. so do you want to be part of it for the rest of your life or do you want to do something else you know so while i was playing i always interacted with the coaches that i played for even the players then i loved and i enjoyed you know uh, when you are coached by Gavin, a coach that will allow you to express yourself even you know the coach at this point but they will allow you to express yourself you know how do you think we should play how do you think the team should improve or where we, we so i i i found that interest while i was playing then playing, yeah. that's why i engaged uh, even god in Gassin. i engaged god in Gassin. I, I i went to the principles of coaching so that i will find out exactly what must what i do yeah. you know they advise me go to school come back if you want to learn something how to do what i did that you know, the thing is, go ask for information. After getting that information, use that information. I'm telling you, our, our, our football will be in good hands if, if yeah, we can all acknowledge the fact that we all need to go and do our coaching patches. Yeah. Chabu, you, you, you had a very fascinating career. Mm. Um, you played for quite a few clubs. Um, the, one, the one club that I, I think I know um, shaped you into the player that you are was when you started at Rabali Blackpool. <laughs> mm, Actually, you have fond memories <laughs> of, of playing there. I know. Actually, uh, I, look, uh, no, everybody get confused. Um, I started at Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, the juniors. Not, not, not the juniors. Okay. Not exactly. I, I didn't. I started at Kaiser Chiefs. I went for for trials for the under 19 okay. uh, Jeff Butler was there okay, that's a long time ago. Exa <laughs> exactly yeah. you know um, two minutes or three minutes was enough for Jeff Butler to stand up from the stands and come down and say look stop this one must come and train with the first team tomorrow that's how I got to Kaiser Chiefs you know, when I got there, Bo David Nyati, David Mudise, Topas Lord Romei, so rest in peace, Lefa, Ace Sipokuse, 
tepo mla tedi orla tawang libisi you know uh Leslie Lang uh, okay, yeah, yeah now uh, now now, now you see how old I am yeah. exactly yes <laughs> you know so Neil Tovey I played with Neil, with Neil yeah. yeah I played with Neil um and say my peak yeah I was there with with the, uh, with the many yeah. yeah so when I was there in our time you must remember never by our yes yeah never never by our groom so never on groom you know, Fakes was there, Willington Manyati, yeah. assistant yeah, chef. Yes, yes. so, yeah. So, never grew my own. So, we never had an opportunity to uh, to play okay. at an early age yeah. for the first team. Okay. So, you then trained you know, with them, but they never got to No, I, I, I did play. I was playing. Few yeah, a few games I played. Then you get uh, an opportunity. Ravani comes and wants help. He wants to win the league. He wants to go to the to the, to, to the PSL. Yeah. yeah. So I took that chance. I, to play, I told yeah. Chris, I said, look, I want to play. Yeah. There's no use of me every time. I'm not playing. I'm not camping. Let me just, you know, go, go and, 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 yeah. and test my skills somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. that's when I went to Rabali. Yeah. 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 And how did it go? Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, uh, like you said, because of that decision I took to go to, to, to Dynamos, I'm this person now you see today because of the teachings that I got that side. You know, they discipline that side. They teach you how to live with people, how to communicate, how to, you know, work hard. You know, and, uh, and it's hot there, but it's fine. So another thing, you from a, a boy from Joburg goes to... A 19 year old goes to to from Jobek to Venda. Yeah. I don't know anyone. I don't know, don't know the lifestyle. Language. I don't know the language. I don't know anything. You get there. There's no mall. There's oh, yes. no you know a, a lot has changed. You need to adjust. Yeah. You know. So, but thank God I went there because the two years that I stayed there. Uh, I realized that look, I can play anywhere in the world. Yes, yes. I can play for any team. I can beat can anyone. Any, yeah. You know, because there there's no pre match meal. There's no you see this luxury that you are used to. Are not there. They are not yeah, there. Yeah. But the, what you get there, the love of the game, the passion yeah. to play the game, yeah. the understanding that why you playing this game. Because if Dynamos is playing, everybody is in the stadium. Yeah. to come support you so that is very important yeah, yeah. that's what i i took from, up from, uh, there. from yeah. from yeah. um but your then your career blossomed mm -hmm. and and one of the things that came through very early on was the fact that you understood who you are as a mm. player you knew how good you were um you know i, I remember watching you, you you always dictated how things were you know you spoke to mm. your teammates you where where does that come from? That that whole I know how football should be played, and I'm going to make it known to even my teammates and even my coaches. Mm -hmm. Understanding the game, you see, whatever you your trade is, you need to do research. You need to understand. Don't just come there, put on a jersey, go between the four lines, play, go home. Understand the game. Okay. Understand so that even when you are in the field. You understand the fundamentals of this thing that we all love. We're obsessed with it. Be obsessed. Knowledge is power. That's what they taught at your school. Knowledge is power. So what I did is I researched. I made sure that I asked questions. That's why I always fought with the coaches because I always ask questions. Why do you want me to head the ball? Yeah. Why? I'm using this to hey, think, think for him and him and myself so me busy heading the ball it's it it won't work for me work, yeah. you know i used to fight i used to question things yeah. other coaches didn't like it yes. other coaches appreciated, appreciated. It. i think i mean that's the thing you 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 were seen as arrogant actually mm. a lot of a lot of people you had you butted heads with a few of your coaches mm. um one of your, your earlier mentors, uh, Bra Price, mm. tells a story of how when you first came to play for him, um, he thought, oh, this kid thinks he knows better than me. He kicked you out, but later realized, that, no, man, this boy knows. Let me bring him in. Mm. Well, 
how did that shape you that that whole incident where you got kicked out you come back he's one of the guys he's one of the coaches that made me to be a coach okay because of how he does things how he was coaching us yes. then i got the interest just build little by little at the end, yeah. end of stage i was still playing by mm. the way yeah. so whenever he went for coaching i was going with him i learned a lot from him yeah. he knows i always tell him guti when am i you know <laughs> but he didn't understand me because we didn't know each other yes. but as soon as we get to know each other we were close yeah. like we were close you yeah. know what i mean so i think it's about questioning Yes. South African coaches hate a player that questions. Yes. Yeah. They don't want you to question. They will, uh, you must run 12 laps. You, you just shut up and run. Yeah. Then when you ask, no, I don't run laps yeah. uh, in the field of play. Why must I run laps? Uh. You know, an incident happened once uh, at Santos while we were coaching. We were coached by Neil Tovey and Kamondi. Mm. They busy teaching. They busy teaching us uh, step, step, over, so step overs what and what what. And I told them, I said no. You can't be teaching me step overs. Uh, yeah? uh, you, you can't be teaching me step overs. What if I do a step over in the middle of the park? I lose the ball, they score. Uh, what are you going to say? Yeah. Mm. What are you going to say? And what, so and, we and, fought. And that, that creates then suddenly Jawi's arrogance. Exactly. Knows better. Because I don't see a reason why Benson Mklong or myself, or, uh, who else? the defenders who should be teaching step overs yeah. you should be teaching us to understand fundamentals of defending uh. how to defend when to when defend to, yes. who to defend communicate not the step over let go uh, surprise do that. Do that, so yeah. that's what other coaches don't understand yeah. you need to it's it's a game of opinion why don't you want to hear my opinion yeah. because yeah. i'm a player you might need to understand and respect my opinion do you do you look back at your career and 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 feel or you didn't stay at certain clubs because of those do you feel that your character your your ability or you know that whole mm -hmm. thing or i'm not going to just do mm -hmm. do you think it has you know you could have had a better career had it not been for that i mean there was the, i was talking to farouk the other day and he spoke of how you and ted butted heads mm. because you didn't see eye to eye and mm. all that no, actually, I had one of the greatest career in the in actually, South Africa. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I will never change anything, yeah. you know, because I left teams not because I wanted to leave. No, it's because I was offered better contracts somewhere else. They wanted me, not that I wanted to leave. Actually, I wanted. Let me tell you a secret. I wanted to retire Chiefs. That's what I told them when I came back for, uh, for the second the spell. Yeah. I told them, I want to retire, to, to retire here. If you don't want me to retire here, then I'm going to leave. Don't even sign me. Yeah. They said, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. But now when things go, you know, you, know, you can't uh, predict what's going to happen in the future. Sure. But yeah, that's what happened. But sometimes offered me something better because yeah. I wanted more okay. from Chiefs. Because yes. I wanted to be there for longer. Yeah, yeah that's why I know. I didn't leave because I didn't uh, afford with the coaches or anything. Coach. No, yeah, I yeah. left because I got better offers somewhere. Some, yes, mm. those, you know, altercations, if I may call them, mm -hmm. with the coaches where you say, no, why do you make me do this? How did they affect you? Was there ever a time where you felt maybe I should hold back? No. Okay. No, I never hold back. And I don't, even now I don't hold back yeah. because I, I, I'm a firm believer of, uh, you don't want to see me falling down now because of heart attack. Because I've, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I have I have a lot inside. in my mind and in my heart inside, mm. so that now I'm bottling everything down. Then no, I tell you, if you don't like it, tell me. We discuss we, it. Then we go. We find the middle ground. Yes, so then we yeah. go. Yeah. Then we move on. Life goes on. Yeah. But the problem is, we we. That's why you see a lot of my uh, colleagues after retirement. They're gonna go and blast the teams that they played for. You never hear that from me, yeah. because I did it while I was there. While you were there, you raised your. I, I never uh, waited for me to retire. To even say no. I, I I fought Chiefs while I was there, and I fought Chiefs alone. I never involved anyone. Yeah. I stayed home. I said, look, if you don't change this, I don't, I'm not coming I'm to not play coming for you. Back, yeah. Then I stayed. Yeah. Then they came back. They fetched me. I went back. 
because they saw a leader. They saw someone that he never involved any player. Yes, it was your case and you, you mine alone. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I will never come to you and say hello. I, I know. I, I, I do. If I'm not okay with it, I call you, coach. Can we talk, talk about this? If you want to talk, I'm gonna tell you straight. I don't like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That's it. Then yeah. we, li then we love each other. We laugh. Yeah, Tomorrow we yeah. good. And and that's why I suppose you then still have those kind of relationships. And even right now, I have relationship with all the coaches that coaches. exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. because they respect me. Yes, it's it's. I mean, you know, you. I don't know if that's how you feel, but a lot of us think you you played your best football when you were at Swallows. Um, yes, I know everyone thinks that, yeah. and I always tell people I played my best football at at Cosmos and okay. at Amazulu. Yeah. yeah. Swallows, uh, well, yeah, well, yeah, but... Tell, tell us why. Why do you think that a lot of us think we saw you at Swallows mm. and we think it was your best yet? Do mm. you feel different? I think uh, at Cosmos, I, I had someone that, like I said, he was street smart. Okay. You know, he knew my strong points. He yes. knew uh, Mark Betsimbaya's strong points. He knew Tevo Homokwena's strong points. Yeah. So he knew how and guys. when yeah. to use us because... In the midfield, it was me, Mark Pet, and Tebo Hopati. He always tell them straight, win the ball, yeah, give it to Mendo. Just like that. Yeah. He just, Tebo Ho, you win the ball, give it to Mendo. Mark Pet, give it. Because now I was given a free role. Yeah. Do whatever you want with the ball. You decide who are you going to play or who or what. If you want to play the keeper, play the keeper. I believe in you. I trust you. you. That's why I enjoyed and I was scoring goals. Yeah. I was creating more. Yeah. Since I've played the game, I, cre I created more goals yeah, at Cosmos, Cosmos than, than anyone any else. Club, yeah. Because I was playing with people that understood yeah. and appreciated my talent in the, in the field the of play. But interestingly, like you said, that you, 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 you still did that at Sun. Because mm. I remember you would, whenever the, somebody has the ball, you called for it. Mm, mm. Uh, a story is told and you'll tell if this is true that you got to Kaiser Chiefs and there, there were some big names. Yeah, obviously, and yeah. Here's this new boy coming in, boy to them, obviously, mm. and you would call for the ball, you give it to me, and mm. they're like, who's this one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had, my first training session, you, 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 you. Uh, you know how it is, man. Yeah. You know, a new player yeah. comes in, you know, Jesus. everybody wants, yeah, everyone, want, everyone wants to show me what, you know, hey, at Soilos, you were the man. Yeah, yeah, we are the man. Yeah. You know, while we're playing, I'm calling for the ball. No one is giving the ball. Ah. When the ball came to me, I just picked it up under my arm. I said, look, if you don't want me here, tell me I'll leave. Just like and that. Yeah. And, and these are established players. Yes. A lot of, I mean, I remember the late shoes he was there. Yeah, exactly. There, so everybody was like, what? Who's this boy now? What's happening now? You know, so it started there. Now they realize. Hey, this is a different animal in the zoo. Yeah, yeah. This is a different animal. This is not you exactly. Yeah. Now they started to give me that space yeah. and respect, and I also give a to them. them. Respect, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So that's where I think my thing with Ted started there. Okay. You know, because now he saw what kind of a player and a person I am. Yeah. If I don't like something, I don't. don't. I just tell you straight. Yeah. I don't like this. And how did that impact on the relationship with Ted? Okay. We never had a relationship. Yeah. Yeah, we never had a relationship. Farouk being there helped yeah. though, Far because then he, you guys. He, Farouk, know. actually, Farouk, he was coaching me there. Yeah. Not Ted. <laughs> not no, Ted. like seriously. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> I was coached by Farouk, not yeah. Ted. Yeah. Even when I, 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 I'm going to, maybe I'm, they're going to tell me to go warm up, come back. Ted will just stand there and I'll stand next to him and say, I'm ready. Yeah. Then he will say, you know what to do. Go just in. Like just you, like you that. Didn't tell you, yeah. No, but uh, Farouk had spoke, already spoken to you. Yeah. You know, yeah. we never had, we ne like seriously, the two years we stayed there, we won cups, we played beautiful football, we had memories, but uh, we, we never had a relationship. You know, but yeah. you know what's funny? Yeah. He cried when he saw me uh, 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 in a coaching course and uh, he stood up and told everyone 
I love this one and I respect him. Couldn't get himself to saying it back then, but exactly. This time but this he time he's like, this boy taught me a lot. It just back then, I had pride to yes, accept. Yes. But now I'm telling him in front of you. Yeah. We were we were we were so close before he passed. I'm telling you, we were so close. Yeah. I'm it was amazing. You. I was like, okay, what's yeah, happening here? Yeah. Exactly. We never. You know what I mean? Now suddenly this, yeah. But I suppose it's hindsight, isn't it? That mm. a lot of people, like I say, it's 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 actually a South African thing. I've seen it. Confident people are often seen as arrogant, and people then push them away. But on hindsight, you realize that actually there's no harm here. Exactly. This boy or this guy. Mm. You know, another thing that I need to clarify here is uh, to all the South Africans: there's a difference between confident and football arrogance. People think, I mean, I have uh, football arrogance. Yeah. I'm arrogant in the field yeah. because that's, I'm, I mean, that's my uh, field. Yeah. I, no one will tell me what to do in the field of play. I don't yeah. care you're an opposition or what. That's why I'm having more fun. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying my football arrogance, they misinterpreted it outside. Yes, yes. That's why uh, I had an interview one time I said, you know, you see the, the biggest problem with you guys, especially uh, journalists, is you don't know Chabulani Mendu, the person. Yes. You know Chabulani Mendu, football the football player. player. Yeah. And uh, you want to talk to me like you're talking to Chabulani Mendu, the football player. It's different. Sure. Young yeah. taller. If you wanna talk to Uchablan uh, Mendum Tanaga Magret, you know Thomas, my Lola, you you need to understand. But you need to know him. There are things that you won't discuss with me off the field because I don't know you. Then there are things that I can answer you because because now you you working exactly. Do you understand? So we need to understand that, that you see a player, uh, he's arrogant in the uh, between the four lines. I love it because I know. Off the field, he's a good boy. Yeah, yeah. Now wherever I go, people still still have that job. Exactly, the PS, player. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's 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 a it's a bit uh, stressful, but, but now at least I'm used to it. I'm, I know how you to know handle how it. it. Is. Yeah. Your, your, in terms of your relationships with your teammates, we spoke about the Chiefs thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people who know you talk about how you. You didn't like that thing, you know. A player makes a bad pass and he says, "Hardy player." Another side, you know, and you didn't like that, and you'll call them out. So we can't be apologizing for this guy when he's messed up. Exactly. How how was your relationship with your teammates when it came to that? Did they understand where that came from? Yes, you know, because at 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 one stage, I, I you know, you know, you need to sit alone and ask yourself questions during the introspection that's what i did okay. because i said look maybe i'm the problem yeah. maybe i'm coming out strong so i need to do what let me go to whoever i offended in their room and explain to them this is how i am yeah. and uh, as much as i tolerate you would you mind or please tolerate me yes. Because we're not here to make friends. We're not friends. We're colleagues. Yeah. I've got my friends at Foslo. Now we've got your friends wherever you come from. Yeah. So we are colleagues. If it happens we are friends, yeah. That's fine. yeah. But right now we're colleagues. So yeah. whatever I say to you between the four lines, it's not, it's personal. not personal. But I cannot have you losing a ball in a pass, a simple pass. Then you want me to say sorry Hardy. on Hadi. No, Baba, no, Baba. Yeah. You, you're playing with my money. It, it passed. Yeah. You know, so they end up understanding me. Yeah. Even now, we could, wh whoever I played with, we could friends. Sure. I don't, whoever I played with, even now, we're still, still in contact. Yeah. Yeah. Because they understand me even now. Yeah. 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 The, 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 the influence or the role that Kevin played uh, yeah. when you went to Solos. Wow. You arrived there a little unfit and apparently he would drive behind you when you were doing road. You know, let me, let me start, let, let me tell you about this story <laughs> <laughs> you know um Pondarego, oh, yeah. i was at amazulu i told you yeah. i was at i was killing everyone at mazulu i'm telling you amazulu suit from up the shankon yes sir. i was killing everyone in the midfield that midfield was mine yeah. they knew it that midfield was mine 
Then Victor Penarego called me. I said, look, I'm going to Sundowns. I knew Victor is going to Sundowns before the league end. I'm going to Sundowns and I want you to come with me. Sundowns. Sundowns. Okay, before then. Yeah. Sundowns. Okay. I went to Sundowns. I trained with Sundowns. But Mambush, Mambush was so excited. Mambush was like, look, I'm going to be the leading goal scorer this year. Yeah, yeah. Because it was, I'm there, Futumba is there. Oh. So, I mean, you, you, you yeah. ah, come on, you know. Yeah. Um, I trained with Sundowns when I'm about to sign. Then Natasha Tinkler said, look, I want an international player. I want a Bafana Bafana player. Uh, Victor Ponoek said, no, I want this player. I don't want what you want to bring me. Uh. Then, you know, obviously, he's, she's the boss. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Victor ended up saying, look, there's nothing I can do, but you know I wanted you. I trained her for a month. So, when I left, Nel Tovi was at Santos, and Nel Tovi coached me at Amazon. So, Nel Tovi called Gavin because Gavin was from uh, Black Leopards. Yes. yes. So, he called Gavin and said, Hey, listen, you are lucky. Gavin said, Lucky. He said, Hey, Baba, you remember Mendu that you wanted? Oh, Gavin also wanted you for Leopards. Exactly. Ah, for Swilo. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, Gavin called me. When I was sad, disappointment, uh, I was down. Yeah. Uh, Sundown's gate, I received a, a government uh, oh. call. Mendu, we're training at four. I want you to uh, join uh, Jamiston Stadium. Stadium. Like, what the fuck is happening? I'm like, coach, I'm there. Yeah. That's when I went there. When I got there, obviously, Gavin, preseason, now I need to catch up. Yeah. Hey, he killed me. Leo, <laughs> yeah. But while he was doing whatever he was doing at first it seems like this guy doesn't like me like, yeah no he helped me he molded me sure like i didn't i didn't feel anything after that because i was fit yes. not only physically even mentally, mentally yes. i was fit mentally as well because yeah. uh you know gavin he he's yeah, he's aggressive no, he he's yeah, he aggressive you know so I think another thing that confuses players is I was coached by Gavin and Gavin will like what the f yeah you know yeah, yeah. so it doesn't hold back, it yeah. doesn't hold back. Yeah. and it doesn't fight with you it's not personal, it's not personal. Yeah. it's yeah. the game after the game Gavin will go and buy you two beers you sit there you talk about something else yeah. then you ask yourself why am I angry yeah. this guy He's so that's I think that's what it's 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 a weakness then that a lot of our players don't get that once we get there it's it's a job it's work it's work and this guy know like what you said um, if you make a silly pass and we lose you're costing me you're my costing money. my money yes so so you get to understand that no this coach does not mean harm you play and it's all fun mm. do you feel that that whole understanding of this is a job we are here to work has helped you then not to take things personal it, it did actually and all that. it did yeah, yeah. it did like it, even now uh, I, I don't did. take things personal yeah. because i i've learned to understand guys we are here to do this yeah. we do this we shake and hands shake that's hands it hands yeah. you understand yeah. i know we love the game i know yeah. we love to but understand this is work yeah this is not the access society. Like, <laughs> you would so, say, ah, hey, this yeah, is it's work. Funny. Training, I come to training, hola, train, sharp, sharp. go home. Yeah. Done. If we, we become close, it's, it's a bonus. Yeah. It's fine. But let's not force it. Yeah, yeah. Let's not force it. Yeah. That's why you'll hear stories, a lot of stories in Ahmed, which will mean, blah, 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 blah. But it's because I don't force it. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Don't force it. Sure. It's gonna happen eventually. It if it's, yeah. it's yeah. gonna happen, you know. So our our colleagues need to understand. Even the current players, yeah. once you enter that pitch, it's work. Yeah. Nothing personal. Yeah. It's work. Yeah. That's why a guy will take you harshly and badly. But after but the after game, that, he's gonna come to you and say, "I didn't mean it. Yeah, so you're good." This will like, "Oh no, let's, you know, yeah. to understand." Yeah. I mean, uh, for uh, an example, we've 
hated each other with two villagers as a ground in. But after the game, we're together. Do you understand? Yeah. So it always has to be my team comes first. I said, no, no, my team comes first. Yeah. So when we we understood that there are a lot of people that are paying their last uh, time to come, to come watch us watch, yeah. so we need to give them 130 120 percent not even 100 yeah. we need to leave you know we need to play with our hearts and our sleeves yeah. we need to when we get out there even if we win Close or to. i lose but you know everyone needs to it. say look yeah no guys uh, he left his all in the pitch yeah. You, you 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 alluded to the fact that Natasha wanted a Bafana play. Mm. Um, given how your career has went, how do you feel about the fact that you were never really a Bafana player? Mm. I understood. I understood. You know, it was. I think that's one of the most difficult things to accept for me while I was playing. But at the same time, like I said, I was taught in an early age. I mustn't be personal. This is football. You might be my favorite, but you won't be his. So that's what I understood, especially with the Bafana Bafana coaches. Yeah. You know, they will call me up, but you ask yourself, dude, I'm playing week in, week out. Dude, I'm, I'm a player of the season. Dude, I'm, 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 I'm a contender for everything that is there in South Africa, but I'm not playing in the Bafana Bafana team. I mean, how is that possible? Yeah. No, but like seriously, how is that possible? So, but you end up saying, look, let me focus playing for my team and making uh, the supporters happy. Anything else comes second. You know, they they called you SK, mm. but I've never seen you with an SK. Hey, but when I SK, you called that SK. Ah, hey, that's and a long story. Uh, let me cut it short. Ben uh. Pema Okay. Yeah, boy, I can really pay Michael yeah. Jackson. Everybody knows yeah, exactly. that Michael Everybody Jackson, knows. the we hero. Yeah. yeah. So, when I pay my, I pay my poor, but I put pile. So, umama mu yang tata velesia e Davidon. Davidon, umama mu yotrina. So, mina man kheli da. I manuku pale SKL and cut. Yes, I remember those days. Yeah, I'm like, I umama mu temple tin kheli wenzim tana mi SKL and cut. Yeah, so I beautiful, like young Kata, Nandi, Abamus. So I'm going to ask you. Okay, so you are the so they're asking me, yeah, I was the first. Yeah. yeah. You know, Mang figure like us. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to Hey, Khalil, Eskel. <laughs> so, oh, my so dala. Man, petit Paul, Eskel, Eskel. Oh, okay. Then, <laughs> well, the, the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. No, 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 that's cool. So, so Jabu, all the best, man, but I thank you so much. The, the, the foundation, um, keep, keep on doing the good job. The coaching, let's mm. hope everything works out. I and we see so you too, sitting man. on a bench of some top club some some days. You will soon, definitely. Yeah. You will. Good. South African football needs people. It's like a scoop, you. but it's fine. You will. Uh, Give us the time. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, people need to understand about uh, the foundation, especially foundation. Mm. Um, look, we're still in a teething phase. Sure, sure. You know, this is gonna be our eleventh year. Uh, however. Look, this is a new path for us. You know, everybody, you know, it's a new path. You know, you, you, you need to be taught yeah. how all these things work. Yeah. Uh, but people misunderstand when you want help. You know, they always think you need monetary, uh, you know, sometimes you need time and their skill so that we can help the next person. Sure. So all I'm, I'm pleading to South Africans is as much as they supported me, you know, while I was playing. Even the foundation, I, I will appreciate it if they can adopt it. Yeah. And if any donation or any opportunity yeah. or any yeah. skill that anyone has, it can at least, you know, uh, contribute in the foundation and in the foundation. And let's make it stronger. Yeah. You know, let's yeah. make it one of uh, Mutsipe and Mandela Foundation. Then next to it, it should be Chablani Mendo Foundation. You know, yeah. so uh, that will be 
amazing for me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. No, thank you.